The default hotkey for splitting an object is T. Or you can use the menu item Object Split Objects. Position the play cursor by clicking along the grid and marker bar. Pressing T will split the object of the selected track or of the selected object. If you control left click to select several objects, pressing T will split all of those objects. If you're using universal mouse mode, you can position the play cursor by clicking in the top half of any object. Doing this will automatically select that track. Notice the track is now highlighted. Then press T to split that object. I'll undo that. Providing there are no previously selected objects under the cursor, the split will occur on that selected track. Any selected object under the cursor will take priority over the active track. Here's an example. The object for track 1 is already selected. If I click on track 3 to position the cursor, that track becomes active, but the top object is still selected. Pressing T now would split that object, but I want to split the object of the active track. So either press Ctrl plus Shift plus A to deselect that object, and then press T. I'll undo that. Or just select the object on track 3 and then press T. In Universal Mouse Mode you can draw in a range and make a split based on the range selection. Or you can draw in a range and press delete to remove that section. If snap is enabled, the cursor or range will snap to that setting. Use the Alt modifier to override snapping. Or just turn off snap. If you draw in a range in the grid and marker bar, double clicking that range will create a range over the selected track. A subsequent double click will create a range over all objects. This is a quick way if you want to split a selection over all objects. Double clicking a third time will return to the original range.